Hey everyone, Tim with Kitchen and Craft here, and today we're going to make these cute little Italian donuts called Bombolini, and we're going to stuff them with vanilla bean pastry cream. The first step is to add some lukewarm milk to a mixing bowl, then sprinkle your yeast on top. In about four to five minutes, little bubbles will start to form on the surface. Then add your eggs, your lemon zest, sugar and salt, flour, and butter. Slap a dough hook on your mixer and knead the ingredients for about 10 minutes or until they form a smooth, slightly tacky dough that pulls away from the sides of the bowl. If for some reason your dough is too wet, just add some flour one teaspoon at a time until it reaches the proper consistency. Turn your bombolini dough out onto a flat surface and using both hands, work it into a nice compact ball. And unlike other baked goods, make sure to keep your work surface dry and flour free because in this situation, the tackiness of the dough is going to help you with this step. Once you've formed a ball, place it in a lightly greased bowl, cover it with plastic film and let the dough rest for about an hour to an hour and a half until it's doubled in size. While the dough's rising, let's go ahead and make the vanilla pastry cream. Start by splitting a vanilla bean open lengthwise and scraping out the paste inside of it. It's totally cool if you want to sub out vanilla extract, just use about two teaspoons per vanilla bean. Add the vanilla paste to some milk and sugar, then bring the mixture to just below a simmer over medium high heat. While the milk is heating up, grab a small bowl and whisk together some cornstarch, egg yolks, and a little bit of milk to form a slurry. This is what we'll use to thicken up the pastry cream and bring it to the proper consistency. The milk that you heated up earlier should now be just below a simmer, so quickly whisk in your slurry, then drop the heat to low and continue whisking until the pastry cream appears thick and glossy and is the consistency of pudding. Quick tip here, do not let your pastry cream come to a vigorous boil or your yolks will curdle and you'll have to start all over again. Once your pastry cream has thickened up, transfer it to a bowl, lay some plastic film over the surface, and place your cream in the refrigerator until it has completely chilled. It's time to make the donuts, so take the total weight of your risen dough and divide by 12. That'll give you one dozen perfectly sized bombolini without any leftover dough. Once you've calculated the weight of each bombolino, use a pastry cutter or a knife to cut chunks of dough equal to that weight. You can double check your accuracy using a scale. Making the miniature dough balls is pretty easy. Just work a piece of the portioned dough in a circular motion between the flat work surface and the palm of your hand until a compact ball is formed. Place your bombolini on a parchment paper lined and floured sheet tray. Then cover them with plastic film and let the dough rise again until doubled in size. This should take about an hour. Heat your frying oil to 350 degrees. And once your little donuts have doubled in size, add them one by one to the hot oil. A good tip here is to not crowd the pan and fry your donuts in manageable batches. When the bombolini are golden brown on both sides, place them on a baking rack to cool slightly. The total cook time for your donuts is about four minutes. The next step is to dust the bombolini with some cinnamon and sugar. It's best to do this while they're still hot because the mixture will stick to the outside of the donuts better. Finally, it's time to fill each bombolino with the vanilla pastry cream that you made earlier. Place the cream in a piping bag fitted with a small tip. Make a small hole on the side of each donut and inject about a tablespoon of the pastry cream into each bombolino. That's it guys. If you enjoyed the video, please take a minute to cruise my channel and consider subscribing. 
hit the alert button to get updates on when I post new content, and thanks so much for watching. See you next time.